Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the LSP Secret Santa Framers to create these really fun images for your clients. So let's dive in and get started. Beautiful image here on my screen by Emma Addison Photography. I'm going to show you how to add the Santas um, and also some tricks and tips you can use to make them blend really well with your image super quick. After downloading from the LSP Actions website, you'll get this zip file. On a Mac, it's going to look a bit different. I'm on PC right now. What you need to do is right click on a PC and hit extract all and that will open it up so you can access the files. On a Mac you can use archive utility or double click. I recommend saving these two framers somewhere on your computer so you can easily access them. You can also add them to your libraries in Photoshop if you wanted to. Um, let me just open these up. But you know it's, it's entirely up to you. When they're your libraries you can just drag and drop you can also drag and drop um, in using your folders, which I'm going to do for this tutorial. So to do that, locate your extracted files. These are PNGs, which means you can also use them in Canva um, and other editing software if you want to. I'm in Photoshop Creative Cloud right now. So just drag and drop this over the top of your image and it will appear with transparency. So you can just drag the sides of the box out to resize Santa so that he suits the scale of your image. Drag him in where he needs to be and just hit enter. You also have a side curtain too that you can drag in. So I'm just going to position that here and hit enter. This is a blurred foreground curtain. Another thing you can do with this curtain is drag another version in. Right click and choose flip horizontal. So it's going to mirror image it. And we could have this on the other side. We could have it, you know, coming kind of in front of Santa a little bit like this. So it looks like he's really peeping um, between these curtains. Now, sometimes you might bring Santa and he's very warm and bright, very yellow toned. Um, and this might not exactly suit your image if you're not doing such a warm Christmas edit. So what you can do, um, a little bit of advanced editing, is make sure you've clicked the Santa layer in your layers panel. If you can't see your layers panel, come up to window and hit layers. On your layers panel at the bottom, there's a little uh, half and half circle. These are your adjustment layers and you can use these to adjust your image. I'm going to choose color balance. So we're going to change the color balance of Santa. Now, if I was to play with this um, as it is, it's going to change your whole image. So what you need to do is right click color balance and hit create clipping mask or hold down alt control command and g or just you know right click create clipping mask and what that does it clips it onto the layer below which is santa and this means any adjustments you make now are only going to affect santa so on the drop down of mid tones i'm going to hit highlights and let's just move the highlights a little into the purple perhaps a touch into the blue and that's just going to kind of um, match Santa a little more with the tones in this image. And one thing you'll notice as well, if you've got keen eyes, is the light in our image is coming from the left. The light for Santa is actually coming from the right, so we're going to need to flip Santa. Select the Santa layer, come up to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and now we've flipped him. So let's move him over to the other side of our image. And the same with these curtains. Let's just move them a little. These are great for covering up a little bit of negative space as well in your image. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm trying to choose an image where I mean, normally you can just drag and drop these. I'm trying to choose something so I can really show you some techniques that you might need to use. We're going to want to move our background in, um, a little bit more into the middle of this scene. So I'm just going to duplicate the background layer. The background is your image. Hit the V for move tool and let's just move it along a little bit. And that way we can also move Santa as well. It's just getting this positioning right. I 
So we're just moving a few things around. The great thing about Photoshop is it works with layers. Every image is on its own layer, kind of like layers of paper or tracing paper. So you can um, you can drag things around until they're in exactly the position you need them to be. So let's see a before and after. A really great one to show the children at Christmas. So let's add another one in. I'm going to try and choose an image that um, also needs a little bit of extra work to make it work. Okay, this one's a great one by Sarah Bartley Photography because you can see there's not actually enough sides to this image to add Santa in properly. So what I recommend you do with a portrait image um, for Santa is hit the crop tool. Uh, the crop is my crop is deliberately set to three by two. Yours might be a different shape. So I recommend three by two or perhaps seven by five. You want a nice crop with edges for your clients if you're doing landscape. So I'm just dragging out this box. Now you see it's going to turn uh, black or it might turn grey or white on the outside. That's because fill is set to background default. You could change this to generative expand if you want to, if you're in the latest version of Photoshop Creative Cloud and that will generate a background for you. We really don't need to for this one because we're going to have Santa taking up a lot of that space. You can also use content to wear fill where it takes elements already in an image and kind of duplicates them around the place. For an image like this um, with a lot of cropping I wouldn't recommend that one. I'm just going to go background default for this tutorial. So hit enter and the image is cropped. Now we can drag Santa in. Let's just resize him to a suitable size. I just want to make sure that the curtain is covering that crop. And again, for the side, I want to make sure it's covering that crop up. And there we go. And before and after, we've just dragged and dropped him in. This image, beautiful image here by Amy Slinky. Let's take Santa out. This is one I've already done. Let's drag him in. So you drag and drop. Adding box will be there for you, so just resize him in. Obviously Santa is an adult. Um, this is a child, so you need to kind of look at the perspective as you're going. He's also closer to the camera, so he will be a little bit larger. But just, you know, move back from the screen a little bit and make sure you're happy with the sizing. This curtain's going to be great for covering up the light. So we can just drag and drop that in, resize as necessary. And there we go. Before and after. Santa added in. I'm going to do our trick of adding an adjustment layer. I'm going to choose Levels. Right-click to create the clipping mask over Santa. I'm just going to darken him a little bit, just so he's matching the, the kind of the darkness in our image a little bit more. Another layer I'm going to add, actually, is a hue and saturation. Knowing your adjustment layers is super helpful in Photoshop. I'm going to choose Yellows from the drop-down. Let's just take the yellows in Santa down a little bit and warm them up. Just a touch. This is just another way you can do it. I like to try and show you a few different things in Photoshop as we go. Um, because, you know, there is no harm in learning different techniques. And watching somebody else edit, um, I always find super helpful. So before and after. I hope you love adding these to your image. You can also drag them into Canva. Um, like I said, if you use Canva for anything, they work really well in Canva too. Happy editing, happy Christmas. Please tag me in the LSP Actions Facebook group. I'd love to see what you're creating with these. I hope your clients love them. Um, you can use these to upsell. You can use these to create things for your clients. <laughs> happy Christmas. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.